But what has masonry been guarding for the last 3,000 years? The real history of the craft, as it is called, varies from one source to another and is a continued thorn of controversy. Masons claim biblical origins dating back to Tubal-Cain, the first craftsman, as well as Nimrod, who built the Tower of Babel and founded the ancient city of Babylon. King Solomon plays an important role, as Masons are said to have been the builders of the Great Temple in Jerusalem. No less important is the influence of Gnosticism, sometimes called the Mother of Masonry. According to Masonic historian Albert Mackey, Gnosticism is where Masonry gets the mysterious letter G, as seen here in the midst of the Masonic square and compass, a symbol that often adorns Masonic tombstones. Known for rejecting the biblical gospels, the Gnostics claim to be the real Christians, an issue the apostles spoke vehemently against in the New Testament. The Gnostic Gospels have been promoted by writers like Elaine Pagels and celebrities such as Jane Fonda. It was the Gnostic teachings that formed the heart of Dan Brown's blockbuster book, The Da Vinci Code. The Gnostics were known to express a humanistic view of Christ, a view they are said to have exploited for the purpose of justifying their debauchery of women. Hence the tales of Jesus and his alleged relationship with Mary Magdalene, a view often attributed to the Gnostics and repeated in Brown's controversial book. But Masonry's most popular debates, especially with films like National Treasure and books such as The Da Vinci Code, Born in Blood and Holy Blood, Holy Grail, seem to involve the mysterious Knights Templar, whose connection to Freemasonry is often seen at the Rosslyn Chapel in Scotland's capital city of Edinburgh, a place that not only reveals much about the Templars and Masonry, but within may be secrets to the founding of the new world. But whatever the connection or controversy, most Masons trace their craft back to the mysteries of ancient Egypt. Egypt is like pretty much the proximate fountainhead of all esoteric mystery teaching. After the example of the Egyptian craftsmen, the Masons carved their own imagery in the great structures of Europe. Secret signs and symbols were embedded into their work, the meaning of which was to be hidden from outsiders. These were the craft Masons who actually built the temples. If you look at European architecture, you know those, all those big cathedrals in Europe, Cologne Cathedral in Germany, uh, Notre Dame in Paris, Salisbury Cathedral in England, all those beautiful cathedrals were all built around the 1200s and 1300s. And it was these Masons who knew their business and they wanted to keep their skills secret. All the great cathedrals of Europe were built by stonemasons who had an understanding of esoteric lore, and they're basically riddles in stone. When masons came to America, they practiced their trade in the same way they had in Europe, embedding secret codes within the design and foundation of the American colonies. Some believe this may account for the geographic location of the five great Revolutionary War cities. In particular, Boston, New York, Baltimore, Philadelphia, and Washington, D.C. have all been built in perfect alignment along the eastern seaboard. 